made us understand that when we appear before him, we can only the same we said. They grow from strength to strength, all of them that appear before Zion. And you know, Isaiah, I want to take Isaiah 34 from verse 29. Verse 29 says, when Moses went down from, from Mount Sinai, carrying the Ten Commandments, his, his face was shining before Exodus 34, verse 29. It says, when, God, when Moses went down from, from Mount Sinai, Carrying the Ten Commandments, his face was shining because he had been speaking with the Lord. Because if we will underline, because he has been speaking with the Lord, but he did not know it. One thing is that the Lord keeps telling us that we know we cannot come to his presence and live the same way. So they said his face was shining because he was communicating with the Lord, because he was communing with the Lord. That is what happens. Yes, sometimes you feel like, you know, I keep coming, but I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't even see the the, the effects of it. But they said even Moses, even with his face shining, he didn't know. People have to tell him, hey, we cannot look at your face because your face is shining. And so as we are gathered here tonight, you know that we will not live here the same. We want us to want to pray for ourselves. We want to pray for others that will be joining us later. We are declaring and making a decree that nobody joins us and leave the same. Mm. Every limitation that we want them to come and leave the same, we are breaking them off in the name of Jesus. And we ask that the word of God be made manifest in our life and we begin to pray. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. It's another beautiful day to worship God. Yes. Is your time with Him? Amen. So thank you for that wonderful invocation. Because God is present. Mm. We can feel Him. He's no man, he's no human. No, he's walking in us. Amen? Amen. Worship inclines our hearts to understand God's word. And the reasons to adore him and he gives our ears the attentive to his wisdoms. I know that things happening now is not okay, the way you think, but in God's presence, there's fullness of joy, amen? Amen. Is that not a beautiful day? Is the 15th of August, day of our Lord. I hope mm -hmm. all the officiating ministers are present. And in order not to waste our time, we'll go straight. Let's have a quick run of what we're going to do today. Amen. We have our minister, Betty, to open the worship. And after that, the hymn now will be taken over by our soul sisters, Sister Leticia and Sister Esther. Amen. Amen. And our intercessory prayers is going to be Sister Ellen is going to take prayer for the nation and Elder Nedum will take the prayer for Church of God International. Amen. 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 And after that, proceed with the praise and worship. Be taken over by Deaconess Clarice. And we we'll get ourselves prepared to hear the word as our pastor will direct us today. And uh, Deacon Eric is going to take our tithe and offering today. While Lord Loretta and Edum will take us through the prayer of the month. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is the quick run of what we're going to do before the benediction today. As Amen. we are here, we have no other thing to do but to focus on God. He is the author and finisher of our faith. This is our moment with him. No Amen. other time, no other person but your moment with God. We we'll praise him. It's an amazing day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. We give God the glory. Let's clap for Jesus as we Hallelujah. our opening prayer. Amen. By Minister Betty. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasure forevermore. We want to appreciate God. Let's start by giving God thanks. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank God for the gift of life. Let's appreciate God for the salvation of our soul. It is not by power, it's not by mind, but by the spirit. The Lord kept you and I alive. Let's begin to appreciate God for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we appreciate you for the oh, gift of life. Jesus. Father, Lord, we are so grateful you get bread into a man, and man became a living thank being. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you've been doing for us. Father, Lord, we thank you for we can bring in and out freely. We exalt your name, O Lord. We magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, we thank you for our life. Father, Lord, we honor you with our life. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Have the bread of Jesus. We have the bread of life. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jes
we've been ministering in song. Father Lord, anoint our lips in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Amen. Lord, God Amen. Almighty, refresh us today, even as we worship together. Father Lord, your words say, where two or three are gathered, you are there in our midst. Father Lord, God Almighty, as we worship today, oh Lord, Father Lord, be in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we come against every powers in the second heaven that want to militate against our worship today. We come against them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take authority over the powers in the second heaven that want to militate against our worship today. We take authority over them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank, you, we thank you, Jesus. We soak today's worship in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus Christ's name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So empowering Amen. opening prayer. Now, thank you. Yes, you Amen. said that. And I know that God's presence. Please let us know that every minister today, you just have five minutes in order to render whatever thing you have to do. Five minutes is only the praise and worship. We're giving 15 minutes. Amen. Amen. And please Amen. stay away from your device for clarity. If you're not ministering, you can mute so that you hear very clearly yes. as we focus no other person but in Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's our hymn now. So, sisters. Amen. 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 All right. So we take our hymn today, which is Amazing Grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a right like me. I was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that my and grace my feet how I see. 
Amen. 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 That's one of the greatest songs created by man, Amazing Grace. We need God's grace now. Even when in hearts, we praise God. Amen. 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 In storms of life, we we'll found him. Amen. 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 Let us focus for our intercessory prayers as we welcome Sister Ellen. Prayer for the nations. Amen. Amen. Blessings, everybody. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. So our first um, point of prayer is praying that God continue to be over us. In the book of Psalms 33, verse 12, it says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people mm -hmm. whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Amen. So our first point, let us pray that God will continue to be over us, that he doesn't leave us or chastise us in his hot displeasure, but that Lord continue to keep us and protect us during this time. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you continue to be over us. Father, let your mercy, O oh God, continue to be over our lives, Lord. Even in this time of COVID-19, there are so many dangers that are wrong. But, O oh God, for those of us, your people who are called by your name and who are looking to you, Lord Jesus, continue to be over us. Father God, do not, do not forget us or chastise us or leave us in your hot displeasure. But, Lord, be over us. Be over us, Lord. Be over us, Father God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that as you, you do your work, oh God, that we will hold on to you, Father. Throughout the midst of everything, Lord Jesus, that in, even in the bad situation, we will not fail you, we will not fail to praise you, we will not neglect you, we will not disown you, oh God. But as Lord, in this time, you will be over us, and we will allow you to do your work, oh God. Father God, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the second part that I want to, us to pray for, wise leadership. So in Daniel 2, verse 21, Yes. It talks about he changed the times and seasons. He removes mm. kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and yes. knowledge to them that know understanding. Yes. So let us pray that even during this time of crisis that the Lord will put wise leaders over our nation as we are Amen. here in South Korea and also in our respective countries and throughout the world that there would be wise and righteous leadership over us. Amen. Yes. Let us pray. Lord, oh Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will set up wise counsel over your nation, O oh God. Lord Jesus, over this country of South Korea where we are, over the islands of the Caribbean, Africa, and every African country, every country of the world, raise up wise leadership. People who are given to the advice of those who are your, your children who can give God counsel to them, Lord. Father God, I pray, Lord, that wise leadership be raised up, Lord Jesus. I pray that the hearts of the Lord will be open to the Lord. And may you see the word of the people that they will not be satisfied with the wisdom of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we will see to God that every Thank you, Jesus. Father God, thank Amen. Lord for wise leadership, Lord. Yes, Lord, 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 that we as your children will not fail to intercede for our nations, O oh God, and even yes. for where we are here, Lord Jesus. Thank you, yes, Father Lord. God, for hearing Amen. and answering this prayer and for your Holy Spirit moving and doing as you see fit, O oh God. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Prayer for the church of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I'm praying for the Church of God International. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our prayer should focus on the, if you look at the Church of God has uh, been going through trials and the uh, hard times. Yes. And our prayers it makes the weaker or the converts, the newly converts, if cares not taken, they might go back to the world because fellowship, fellowship is very, very important in the life of every Christian. Yes. So let us pray. First of all, we have to pray for the Church of God International, for them to, for the Holy Spirit to guide and protect them, strengthen them to, keep, to keep, keep on the good fight, keep on the good message of God. Amen. Lord, let us pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, we come in the Church of God International in the people of God. Father, Lord God Almighty, we ask for your presence in the Lord. Father, Lord God we present ourselves with the spirit of Christ, O Lord. Father, strengthen us, O As the church of nations is going through trials of the Lord in the whole world, O King of Glory. Father, we ask your spirit, the Holy Spirit, to come and strengthen the church of God. Come and strengthen the church of God for the church of God to pass through these trials and temptations and persecutions all over. Father, O King of God, we ask the Holy Spirit to intervene, 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 intervene divinely in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Then the second, the second prayer point should we should you know, focus on the children of God, children of God, children of God all over the nations, children of God internationally, that is the Christians, the believers that are going through persecutions, the believers that are testing them from here to here, mm -hmm. you know, trying to catch their lives, mm -hmm. trying to bring their lives into a secular mm -hmm. world. You know, this is for my own understanding. So. I would like us to pray for the children of God internationally. Amen. You know, pray for God to strengthen them. And yeah. I would like us to, you know, to counter every demonic agenda. Yes. Of God. I would like us to use our prayer to counter every those demonic agenda towards the children of God. Amen. You know, to make the children of God limit, that is, Limit their faith, you know, make their faith not, you know, they keep some of them are doubting God, some of them are still thinking, Does God exist? Mm -hmm. This is what the agenda of the devil is trying to make. If you can understand in the spirit, let us pray. For the throne of mercy, the fight against the faith of the children of God. Father, every agenda of the children against the children of God, of Jesus. Father, we the of glory, it unites the faith of every children of God all over the nation. The children, the faith of every children of God all over the nation. Let them fight for Jesus. Let them Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this fire of the Lord. Father, ancient of days, we thank you, Lord. For bringing them to Jesus. For every gate of hell against the church of God, we come against it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord God Almighty, empower the church, empower the church of God, empower the church of God. In the name of in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, ancient of days. We glorify your name, O Lord. Yes, Father, we bring the church of God before the throne of mercy, O Lord. Amen. Father, the agenda of the devil against the children of God, against yes. the church of God all over the nations. 
against the church of God internationally. We counter that with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Holy Jesus. Father, O King of Glory, every agenda of the devil that have emanated from all mm. sorts of pandemic, O King of Glory. Father, yes. o, may the fire of God visit all those agendas o, and destroy the thoughts, Amen. The thoughts Amen. that will bring the faith of every children of God down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Amen. O, King of Glory, we ask, O Lord, let your Holy Spirit ignite yes. every spirit of every children of God all over the nation. Amen. For them Amen. to hold the church of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. For them Amen. to bring the light and the flames of the Holy Spirit. All the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, who King of glory in all nations, in all internationally, the children of God shall hold their firm faith yes. in God. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Problem or every problem created by the devil in mm. order to cage, in order to secular, to put the children of God in a secular in which mm. they will ask questions to their maker. We cancel every that gender in the name of Jesus. Amen. We Amen. God or every children of God with the blood of Jesus. And Lord the church of God, Christ. Christ, God and the church of God shall survive and yes. shall triumph. Every tribulations of the devil, every tribulations yes. that emanated from this pandemic, the yes. church of God internationally shall stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise and worship is what we do. Yes. It's Amen. our preparedness to listen to God's words. It's our preparedness to step into the throne of God's mercy. Amen. As we're going to listen to amazing voice of Deaconess Claris, as she going to lead us into today's praise and worship. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to worship and praise God this afternoon. Yes, Lord. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise you every day. Yes, praise you every day. I will oh, praise Jesus. the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise you every day. Every day I will praise the Lord. Everybody praise Jehovah. I will praise him every day. Praise him every day. I will praise the Lord. In Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah, 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 I will praise you every day. I will praise you. I will praise you every day. I will praise you. Today, I will lift up my voice in praise. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, you are always the peace. Almighty God, you are my all and all. No matter what they say, when trouble comes my way, I will worship you, Lord. Yes. Today, oh, we will lift up our voice in praise. Today, oh, we will lift up our voice in praise. For all we know, yes, Lord, you are always there for us. Yes. Almighty God, 
You are all I know. Yes. No matter what they say. When success comes away, we will worship you, Lord. No matter what they say. Yes. When problems come away, we will still we worship, will worship you, Lord. Lord. No matter what they say. Yes, when Lord. problems come away, we will we still will worship, worship you, Lord. Lord. There is none like you. Yes, there is none like you. Yes. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you. Like you. There is none like you, Father. There is none like you. You are greatest, Lord. You are holy one. Yes. You walk upon the sea. Raise the oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. You reign in majesty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mighty God, oh, Lord. everything written about you is great. You are greatest, you are holy one. You walk upon the sea, Lord, you raise there. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great. Oh, Lord, you are great. Lord, you are great. Yes, you Lord. are great. Lord, you are so great. Yes. You are great. Everything written about you is great. great. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God for such an amazing word. Yes. yes. That's, that's so empowering. Everything about God is great. As we humble ourselves before him. Mm. Lord, be gracious to us because we long for you. Mm. Amen. Be our strength every time, every moment. Our salvation in times of distress. Mm. We need you now, Lord, Lord, as we humble ourselves to listen to the word of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Get closer to your device. Pay attention to what God has for us today. Yes, Lord. As we give a round of applause to welcome the man of God, Amen. the general overseer, yes. and our spiritual leader, Pastor Benjamin. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, we thank the Lord Almighty for you all. You all are very precious in the sight of God. Amen. Everyone is wonderful. Everyone is great. Yes. I want you to look at yourself and know that you are wonderful. Amen. Don't belittle yourself. Just know that you are wonderful. You are wonderful. Amen. People look at you and wonder, what kind of person is this? Because you are a wonder. Because signs are following you. Can you see the signs following you? Mm. Everywhere you go, signs, signs of favor. <laughs> I'm telling you, signs is just following you. Wherever you go, favor. You know, people will be asking you questions, what can they do for you? These are the signs, you know. Because if there are signs, you know, because if the signs of the end time, but to you, 
the signs of favor. I'm telling you, because the end time, the signs of the end time, you know, is for warning. But to you, this is your season and your time. Yeah, hallelujah. So wherever you go, you see favor following you. I'm telling you, business that was dead begin to rise up now. Can you yeah. see business? Up some businesses. Yeah. I'm telling you, the mask getting up, mask. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, yes, sanitizers company. They are selling good. Before they don't know what they call mask. It's only for doctors. Yeah. I'm telling you, but right now go to company now, and the company they are ordering mask. They are thanking God for it. I'm telling you. So it's a season. You know, the Bible says where there is a cast uh, down, there is a lifting up. Mm. I'm telling you, people are sat from the job and putting you there. Can't you, can't you see it? So, so, <laughs> so I just want you to know who you are in Christ. You are wonderful. Okay. Mm. Reach you all again in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So blessed to see you all wonderful today from the opening from the start invocation, yes. straight to opening, opening now, you know, you know, to the, okay, to the prayers, intercessory prayers, and to the worship. Everything we think about is, is what? It's great. It's, it's great. Amen. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm telling you. Yes, 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 I'm telling you. <laughs> so, we, uh, praise God Almighty. For those online, we can see everyone online. Our own baby too is online. <laughs> Maybe Grace there is just watching everybody. He's just seeing everybody. Can you see? Can you see her face? She's just watching everybody. I'm telling you, it's, it's a blessing. You see everybody online. Give God the glory. Amen. 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 Uh, without wasting much time, uh, because what we do now is we are training on that time. Time is very important. Yes. I'm telling you, if not, you know, there's going to be a deviation. Everything is training, training you on time. And it will help you, not now, but in the future. I'm telling you. So we are in a training ground. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, training on how to talk, training on how to move, training on how to behave in public. You know, that is why we have what they call what rehearsal. You know, yes, yes. So we give God the glory and uh, quickly we want to get into the Bible, the word of God. Don't forget uh, that the word of God is what we stand in the last days. Don't forget this. Yeah, please don't forget this one more time. We follow only scriptural, you know, doctrine. So we speak, you know, we speak what we speak uh, and the scripture only. So we are a clear voice in the tumbled world. We don't have doctrine. Our doctrine is the word of God. Amen. So whatever is taught in the word of God, forget it. My brother, my sisters, can't you see the world is changing? You know, at the time it's about to get better, it becomes worse. Worst. People are wondering, because normal will never be normal again. And so we are dedicated to restoring strong and sound doctrine of the early church to the body of Christ. Mm. It's only the Bible that is our scriptures, our doctrine, the Bible. That is why I beg you always to read your Bible. Too many false teachers, many teachings today. Please don't forget, Jesus said something, you know, Jesus spoke in Acts that all that Jesus you know, began to do and to teach, teach and do, teach and do. People can teach, but they don't do what they are saying. Mm -hmm. So I want you to take the Bible. Your Bible is your life, life. It's your life wire. Amen. Bible is our doctrine. So we take out what the word says and we make it as a doctrine of the early church. Yeah. That is why today there is so much fighting in the church of God. Why they're using that doctrine to fight the other doctrine? There are many false teachers, many false prophets. I'm telling you, can't you see with your eyes? Go to the mm. internet now. The internet is full with enough false teachers. And you sometimes you're carried away with their teachings. But be careful. Get to the word of God. That is the best doctrine you will ever know. 
I'm telling you, my brother. Now, when we talk about this vaccination, vaccine, people begin to ask questions about the vaccine. Now, let me ask you too, the phone you are having, that phone in your hand, there's a code in it, don't you know? That code, where do you store it? You store it in your memory, which is your brain. And you call that is for, uh, I mean, call that what? The mark of the beast. Those electronics you are using, do you know who founded it? Do you know? The phone you use, do you know how it come about? And the Bible say that, Romans 8.28, it said, and we know that all things what? Work, work, work for good. And for who? For our, for, for our own good. Yes, mm -hmm. so what? Yes, what they meant for evil is for our good. Mm. Amen. Those vaccines you see is for our good. The testing, you know, sometimes when somebody, you know, have corona, they will say everybody must go for for, for what? For yes. test now, if they say so, you will say, no, I'm a believer. What are you saying then? It's for your good. Obedient is for your, it, 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 it's for your good. You say, no, 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 no. I, I don't want you to touch my nose or mouth. But it's for your good. Vaccine came now. Oh, look at vaccine. They want to kill everybody. Who, who told you that one? And 5G came. 5G came. They said 5G is 66. Who told you? The 5G is what we are using now. Are we going to use it soon? Answer me now. Are we going to use it soon? We are in Zoom. Yeah, we're using it. This is the part you are using now. For mm. our good. It is when you start using it for evil, it becomes evil. Mm. I'm telling you, the force you are using, you don't know how, how it was founded? Mm. <laughs> if you are entering your home, what do you have? You have this key, digital key. It's stored in your memory, your memory. Mm. Mm. And the same time, yeah, the same thing with your bank. Everybody mm. has a code to his bank. Is that not correct? Yes. So he, anyway, as a man ticket in his heart, so is he. So shall it be. That is it, my brother. <laughs> my brother. So we have to be very careful. Get to the word of God more. Amen. Amen. Get to the word of God more. Because Amen. it's for our good. It's for our good. It's for our good. It's for Ooh. our good. Because what yes. they meant people for Joseph becomes good for him. Amen. Oh. Everything in this in this world is evil. If you are coming out, is evil. But as you are coming out, it's for your good also. You must go and buy something at the supermarket. Mm. Are you saying because Corona is everywhere, you cannot come out to buy something? No. Mm -hmm. Look at it. It's for your good. Mm. We walk in the streets. We walk. We walk. Sometimes we take. You know, we don't walk around. And what about the air that enters us? Mm. Those things is for our good. Mm. Is for what? For our good. They talk about 5G. 5G means what? Fifth generation. Before when I came to Korea, it was it was 2G that I yeah, 2G. And what they do is to upgrade it now to become what fifth. Right. Mm. But everybody will say, no, this is no, no, this is evil. No, this is evil. No. It's not evil. It's for our good. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking to the world, not only on Zoom, but on Facebook too. As a man ticket in his heart, so is he. Mm. My brother, you see, poverty is, is in the mind. Mm. Yes. And also riches is in the mind. Yes. So as a man ticket in his heart, so is he. If you think it's evil, that will be evil for you. We are living in the midst of terror, in the midst of hardship, in the midst of coronavirus. But God is still, is still, is you know, is still guiding you. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So, my brother, let's go to the scripture quickly in John three sixteen. John three sixteen quickly. John three sixteen. Yes. Yes. John three sixteen. Yeah, John 3, 16. Okay. Thank you so much. That's uh, Now, the scripture you see now, it's uh, the scripture you see 
He said, for God so what? Love no, the no. world. You see it? There is no exemption. Look at it. So there is no exemption. He said, for God so love the world that he, 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 he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not uh, perish but have what? Everlasting life. Father, we thank you for your word this day. Because you love the word. Father, no matter what the word is going through, you still love the word. Thank you for giving your only son. Father, may you be exalted, worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Decrease me so that you might increase. Thank you, Lord, for everyone on the Zoom, you know, the Zoom, Facebook. You reach them, bless them, talk to them. Thank you because it is done already. Thank you because it is done already. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 Now we are talking on the word salvation. What does I say? Salvation. Salvation. Don't forget the scripture. It said, for God so loved the world. He loved the world. There is no difference between Africa and South Korea and Asia country, and also, you know, America, Europe, you know, Europe. He loved the world. He loved the world. He loved the world. He loved the world that he gave. You see, it's only because his son, that means God has to enter his son to bring himself out through the son. Though they are one, that's why we have Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. They are one. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting eh, life. Whoever, it could be a general, a pastor, whatever name, whoever is whoever. God does not discriminate. He does not discriminate whether you are a pastor. So long you believe him, ah, you are welcome. So long you believe him, you are welcome. So long you believe in whether you are a pastor, whether you are a general, whether you are G.O., whatever name, so long you believe in, look at what they say. It did not say the pastor believes him. The general believes him. It said that, that whoever, you can see, that whoever believes in him, including you, 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 believes in him should not perish. Should not perish. Even pastors can perish if you don't believe him. G.O. can perish. Once not believe him. G.O. can can what can perish when not believe him. But they say whoever believes in it should not perish, but what have what everlasting Eternal life. Mm. They say everlasting life. So then let us understand what salvation is. Because without a definition, there will be a deviation mm -hmm. in life. I'm mm. telling you. So what is salvation? The word, you know, the word salvation. It comes from a Greek word, soteria, from, from a Greek word, soteria, soteria in the Greek word, in the Greek word, which means what? The act of delivering from sin. The act of what? Delivering from sin and saving from evil. So it is the same as redemption, redemption, redemption. So my brother, my success, human or man, cannot save himself from sin or deliver himself from evil. Man needed God. Man needed what? God. We all need God. We all need God to rescue. So man needed God for what? To rescue him from sin and evil. We all need God. We all need God. Because of what is going on now. I'm telling you, the evil you see today, it creates sin. It is evil that creates sin. I'm telling you. So my brother, as a result, God now begins to send his own son, which is called Jesus Christ, to save man from sin. And this is what we call salvation. That is the word salvation. Don't forget, in the, in the Greek word, it is called soteria. Soteria in the Greek word means delivering from sin mm. from evil. Salvation is the best miracle. Let us also see John 3, 36. John 
3.36. John 3.36. Now, it said, he who believes in the soul, would you imagine, has everlasting life. And he who does not believe the soul shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides where? On him. Mm. You see? So God has wrath. God can be angry when you don't believe him. You see? God can be angry when you don't believe him. He said, he who believes in the son. He, he doesn't mean only pastors or reverend. Oh, he said, he who. He, he who. Including a woman. He who believes in the son has everlasting life. So once you believe you have everlasting life. Yeah. Now he settled it by saying, say, he who does not believe the son shall not see life. You see the person walking, but there's no life in him. The person will still be saying, don't worry, I know who I am. No life in him. But the wrath of God abides on him. The wrath of God. God gets angry with those that don't believe him. God gets angry. The wrath abides on him every day of his life. So, my brother, salvation is the best miracle to a lost soul. A lost soul means a sinner. And until you are born again, you cannot have access to heaven. You cannot do what? Have access to heaven. My brother, my sisters, in Christ, nothing can save a man outside of Christ. Nothing can save a man or woman outside of Christ. Soul winning is an effective tool for salvation. Soul winning is an effective tool for salvation. Everything in life is connected to a source. But being ignorant of the source, we def you know, we want, we definitely divide its benefit from you. Who is, who is the source? Jesus Christ is the source of eternal life. Jesus Christ is what? The source of uh, eternal life. And until you accept him, life will be full of crisis. I'm telling you, no matter your degree, no matter the level of intelligence you have, without Christ, life, life will be full of crisis until you accept him. So you cannot understand God through human philosophy. You cannot understand God through the way you think, but through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Now quickly, let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans 10. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. He said, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Look, I want you to be, I told you, the doctrine we use is the Bible. We don't have any other doctrine. Our scriptures, our, 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 our doctrine is the Bible. He said, for whoever, whoever could be you, could be me, could be anybody. It could be anybody. He said, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then the question now in 14 says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a, a preacher? There must be a preacher. Thank God, God have given me a privilege to be a preacher to you, to myself, to the whole world. Without a preacher, you cannot understand nothing. There must be a preacher. There must be God assigning somebody to lead. I'm telling my brother, there must be a preacher. There must be what? A preacher. So my brother, the question now, I mean, the answer now is, so winning is, is what? Engaging a sinner in a talk with the intention of winning him or her to Christ. So winning is very important at this time. It is sharing from God's word, not your own word, God's word, God's word, God's word to be able to win that sinner to Christ, that soul to Christ. So God's plan of salvation with him so that he believes and clearly understands how he may receive Christ as his savior and have what? Eternal life. Simply put this, soul winning is leading a person, a person could be a sinner, you know, to Christ. Who can save anybody? Who can save anybody? It's only Christ that can save anybody. 
Let's quickly go to Mark. Mark 16. Mark 16. Mark 16, 15. Okay. And he said to them, go into all the world. Do you see that? All the world. Christ is not specifically, you know, a place. He said, go into all the world. He said, go. He didn't say be stagnated. He said, go, 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 go. He said, go. Christ is speaking up. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. He said the gospel, not your own way, not your own knowledge, not your own education, but what? The gospel. The gospel. The gospel. Not about, you see, I just came back to America right now. No. You know, I have degree. You know, I have degree. No. I have what? Intelligence. No. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. Don't forget, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he said, if any man is in Christ, he is a what? A new creature. A new creature. A new creature. That means we are creature. <laughs> we are creature. He said, to every creature. He said, he who believes and is baptized, will be saved. We be saved. Once that creature believes in him, we be saved. But he who does not believe, we be condemned. You understand? So once you don't believe in him, that, that person will be what? Condemned. Condemned. So my brother, my sisters, engaging in soul winning is very vital because it initiates the process of reconciling. Reconciling the lost souls to God. Reconciliation is good. And let's turn to 2 Corinthians. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. He said, now all things are of God. Do you see? Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of what? Reconciliation. So as a child of God, once you are saved, you have that ministry of reconciliation. You become a peace giver. You become what? A peace giver. I'm telling you, everywhere you go, there's peace. You reconcile people together, but not dividing them. Not uh, creating division among them. Because we, we've been saved. That's why we have the ministry of what? Reconciliation. That is that God was in Christ because, you know, the word to himself, the word to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them. You know, see, and as done what, and as what, and as what, and as what, somebody finish it for me, and as what, and as what, and as what, and as what. Yes. And committed to us the word of reconciliation. Uh -huh. And has committed to us the word of a re Reconciliation. So our job as believers, saved, purified, sanctified, is to put people together, but not to create a division. Not to do what? Create a division. I'm telling you, my brother, I'm telling you, my brother, my sisters, in Christ. So that God was in Christ. God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. The world unto himself. Not imputed that trespasses unto them, but had committed unto us the word of a reconciliation. The word of God is, is a word of reconciliation. Let's also see the same. Okay, okay, reconciliation. Thank you. Now let's go to 2 Corinthians 5:20. Okay, he said, now then, look at look at what the scripture says. Still on, still on Corinthians, the church, Apostle Paul is still. You know, he's talking to the church. He said, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading to us, we employ you on Christ, you know, on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to God. Now, the question is, an ambassador is someone appointed. Who is an ambassador? An ambassador is someone appointed by the government of a given nation. And is sent to represent the nation in a foreign land. That means to say, he opposed the interest of his nation. Do you understand? It, it, it what? Opposed the interest of, a, of what? His nation. Now, in, in this light of truth, as a believer, you are there for the interest of our home country. Our own country is heaven. Don't forget this. Our home country is what? Heaven. Heaven is our home country. Heaven is our what? Home country. Which is what? Reconciling sinners to God. God has placed upon man a high level of value because man is the only creature that replicates the image of God. 
And because of this value, he took upon him the form of a man, came down to deliver man, came down to do what? To deliver man. Let's see that from, let's see John 1 verse 14. John, okay. He said, and the world became flesh. Yeah, did you see it? And the world became flesh and dwelt among us, dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Not only grace and truth. So he came to give us grace and truth. So knowing Christ is knowing the truth. And knowing the truth will make you free. We make you free. Once you know the truth, we make you free. Knowing the truth is knowing Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And once you know him, the grace of God will be following you. The grace of God will be following you. So my brother, my sisters, your value for human life is an expression of your love for God. Your value for human life is what? As is an expression of your love for God. And this can be clearly shown when you engage in soul winning. Soul winning should be your top priority and value. Your soul winning. Your soul winning. So when you make it your delight, you become a delightful personality. So winning is the heartbeat of God. Is what? The heartbeat of God. 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 So winning should be your priority. And so winning is the heartbeat of God and a responsibility of every Christian as an ambassador of Christ. So the ministry and lesson of Jesus should be our purpose. So winning is not for only pastors. So winning is not for only the evangelists. So winning is for you, for everyone. For everyone, for every who, for everyone. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, uh, we give God the glory as as I close with these prayers, pray from his, all my prayers is from scripture. Don't forget this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. All, all my prayer I want to pray is from scripture. scripture. You know, so the scripture is John 3. John 3. John 3. John 3. Uh, yes, John, John 3, verse 30. And Isaiah 9, verse 7. John 3. 30 and Isaiah 9 verse 7. Somebody should read it immediately. John 3. John 3 verse 30. He must increase, but I must decrease. Uh -huh. Good. He must increase, and I must what? Decrease. decrease. Now let's see Isaiah 9 verse 7. In 14 Korah. Uh -huh. Isaiah 9 verse 7. Isaiah 9. Verse 7. Yes, sir. Isaiah 9, 7. Yes, sir. Of the increase of his government. Uh -huh. And peace there shall be unto, there shall be on end. Mm -hmm. Upon the throne of David. Yes. And upon his kingdom. Yes. Order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice. From henceforth, even forever. Amen. The Lord Amen. of hosts will perform this. He said, he said, the love of God will perform it. That means the zeal of God. Mm. So the zeal of God will consume all The zeal of God will perform this. Not by power, not by mind, but the zeal of God. Mm. So I want you to speak with me, whatever you are. Let's meet our microphones, please. Let's meet our microphones. My father, increase your love in me. My father, increase your love in me. My father, increase your anointing in me. My father, increase your spirit in me. My, my father, father increase your spirit in me. My father, increase your fire in me. My father, increase your fire in me. Let's pray, man. That would make it. My father, increase 
your wisdom, your knowledge in me. My and Father, in your wisdom, your wisdom, wisdom in me. Tell with me one more time. My Father, increase your riches, your strength and glory in me. My Father, increase your riches, your strength, your glory in me. Say with me, my Father. My Father, increase your fire. 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 In my life. 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 Increase your fire. Increase your fire. Your Yes. Your, glory. Your, glory. Your, glory. Your, glory. your strength in my life. In my in life. In Jesus Christ, they will pray. Amen. Amen. They will pray. That is the first Amen. one. The second, Amen. The second scripture Amen. is in John 3 31. John 3 31. John 3 31. We are using the scriptures for our life. Scripture is it's a bullet. Don't you know? Mm. Scriptures, they are bullets. Scriptures, they are bullets. They are bullets. They are bullets. Yes. Scriptures are bullets. Once you have scripture, my God, if any enemy try you, it will backfire. John 3.31. Somebody help me. John 3.31. Yes. The one who comes after me John three thirty one. John 3.31. Yes. The one who comes from above is above all. Yes. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth. That is it. And as one from the earth. Amen. The one who Amen. comes from heaven is above all. Did you see it? So it would be, I am above all. I am above oh. all. So put your hands wherever you are prophetically. Say, I am above all. I am, I am above, above all. all. I am above sickness. I am, I am above sickness. I am above diseases. I am above diseases. I am above depression. I am above depression. I am above sudden death. I am above sudden death. I am say with me. I am above the world system. I am above the world system. I am above witches and wizards. I am above witches and wizards. I am above poverty. I am above the poverty. I shall fear no evil. I shall fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. 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 In the name of Jesus. For thou art with me. Oh, oh, I am above fear. I am above fear. fear. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. faith that can move mountains. Faith, faith that can move mountains. Mountain. Faith in the Lord Jesus. Faith, faith in the Lord, in the Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I cannot be hindered by any circumstances. I cannot be hindered by any circumstances. I cannot be stopped by demons. I, I can cannot be I am taking over. 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 Are you sitting there with me? Are you sitting there with me? Ah, uh, I want you to shake your left leg and say, you, you pain on my left leg. Come on. Say, you pain on my left leg. Say, you, you, you pain on my left leg. You pain on my left leg. Take you out. I shake you. Shake them out. 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 Shake you out. I shake you out. I shake you. I shake you. I shake you. I said, I shake you out. Pray you, Jesus Christ. Pray you, Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus Christ. Never pray. 
Amen. Amen. That, in fact, say what they say, I hold the blood of Jesus Christ. I hold I the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. Against satanic prophecies. Against, against satanic, satanic prophecies. prophecies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ. I hold, I hold the blood of Jesus Christ. Against demonic delay. Against demonic delay. Against demonic delay. Of my miracles. Of my miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Against evil diversion and satanic counterfeit. Against evil diversion and satanic counterfeit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stop my body. I stop my body. I stop my, I stop my lungs. I stop my, I stop my, I stop my liver. I stop, I stop my liver. I stop with the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 With the blood of